everybody, this is Max Olson with Adjuster TV here, and you're looking at live conditions just south of Daytona Beach, Florida. The clouds are moving in, the wind is picking up, and Dorian is slowly approaching from the southeast. Today we're going to talk about the potential impacts to Florida even if Hurricane Dorian does not make landfall, as well as the lingering possibility of a landfall to the Carolinas on this Adjuster TV weather update. All right, everyone, we are looking at radar via the radars off the east coast of Florida, which now shows Hurricane Dorian very clearly and man it has been stalled over these Bahamian Islands for over a day now. This island in particular has been in the eye wall. Remember we talked about that. That's the most intense part of the hurricane uh, for over 12 hours. That is just unimaginable. The one bit of good news is that we have seen a shift to the north. Uh, if we had been seeing more of a west trend then I would be very concerned for the coast of Florida. However, it does look like it is going to start meandering off to the north and uh, fingers crossed, there's still room for, you know, there's still margin of error, but it looks like it's going to miss the east coast of Florida, thankfully. However, that does not mean they are out of trouble yet because you can still get pretty intense impacts even if this eye wall doesn't make landfall. This would be catastrophic if it did. That doesn't mean that there isn't gonna be any damage. In fact, let's look here at some of these reports coming in. We have tropical storm force winds already on the east coast of Florida. Let's see, uh, these ones, we got 40 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour, 46 miles per hour, 52 miles per hour. 51 miles per hour, so the hurricane's still way out here. It's expected to get even a little bit closer once it gets further north, and we're still already seeing tropical storm force winds and rain. That's gonna saturate soil. When you get those strong wind gusts, you have a higher chance of trees falling down. So Florida is not out of the woods yet. And after we look at satellite here, we're gonna talk about an example of why. As you can see here, this is a very impressive hurricane. It has weakened some from yesterday when it was just an absolute monster going over these islands. Still a very impressive, very well pronounced eye wall, eye there, uh, very symmetrical. It's a, honestly, it's a beautiful storm from a meteorological standpoint and the symmetry and just the organization, but a very, very damaging and potentially deadly storm. Uh, it is going to be making its way further to the north and we've seen hurricanes do this before. In fact, just a few years ago, Hurricane Matthew did just about the exact same thing. Look at that track. Look how similar it is. Let's go. This is the Matthew track. Now let's go over here. This is Dorian. I mean, those are almost identical. So what did Matthew do? Well, Matthew did over $3 billion worth of damage to Florida alone, not including the Carolinas where it made landfall over $10 billion worth of damage along the east coast of the United States from Hurricane Matthew, and it didn't even make landfall until Carolinas as a category one. So it did a lot of that damage just offshore without even making landfall. And when it did make landfall, it was a relatively weak hurricane. Let's just take a look at some of the imagery here. I mean, this is the type of stuff you're gonna be seeing along the coasts. Even if it doesn't make landfall, there's gonna be a lot of beach erosion. There's a lot of houses along those coastlines that are going to be impacted. And if it makes landfall anywhere, it's only going to be even worse on top of the fact of potential flooding, rainfall, etc. Let's go ahead and take a look at the spaghetti plots, which do show, uh, some do show a potential landfall in North Carolina, which I've seen quite a few models show. This area is still recovering from Hurricane Florence last year, so that would not be a good situation. Uh, we're definitely hoping that it does steer further out to sea, but it has been uh, you know, somewhat consistent of a North Carolina landfall, uh, somewhere between Wilmington and the Outer Banks. So we need to keep our eyes peeled on this system because it is not over yet. There is still potential for a lot of damage to occur. As we saw, Hurricane Matthew 2016, over $10 billion worth of damage. And a lot of that was done without even making landfall. Also, something to note, we're still in the peak of hurricane season. Look at the Atlantic. Look at all of these disturbances. This is the only one that is named right now Hurricane Dorian. This one thankfully looks like it's going out to sea, but these are in the prime development region. 
to potentially track further west. It is the peak of hurricane season. You cannot let your guard down. Just because this storm doesn't make landfall doesn't mean that it's over and that you should give up because there are still a lot of opportunities. So for you independent adjusters, now is the time to get that training in, that last minute training. Now is the time to start getting on those rosters, calling those IA firms because we are in the peak of hurricane season and it is not over yet. Thank you, everybody. This has been Max Olson with Adjuster TV. We will be continuing to update you on Hurricane Dorian and its impacts here at Adjuster TV. Thanks.